Hello people, we want to look at what Waldeyer's ring is in this video. Basically, if you see Waldeyer's ring, no, this, uh, whatever you're seeing here, in the mouth, so this is the adenoid tonsil, this is the nasopharyngeal tonsil, down here you have the lingual tonsil, and then bilateral you have the tubal tonsils here, right, and here you have the palatine tonsils, or simply called tonsils. So this is the Waldeyer's ring, they say, but what exactly is it? So, in your cervical lymph nodes, as you can see here, cervical lymph nodes, in the cervical lymph nodes, deep to the inner circle, that means much inside your inner circle of cervical lymph nodes, you have tonsils, right? Aggregated masses of lymphoid tissue or tonsils that forms your Waldeyer's lymphatic ring. There is one more thing called as external ring of Waldeyer. Now, what is this? External ring of Waldeyer. The lymph from lymphoid tissue of this ring drains into the Peri-cervical chain and deep cervical chain, which is the external ring of Waldeyer. So, whatever it drains into this Waldeyer's lymphatic ring to whatever it drains to, that is called as the external ring of Waldeyer. So, the peri-cervical chain and the deep cervical chain are the external ring of Waldeyer. So, look at this image in detail. See, they have marked here innermost is the Waldeyer's ring. That is this, right? Innermost is the Waldeyer's ring. That is all your adenoids and lingual tonsil, tubal tonsil, palatine tonsils, innermost is the Waldeyer string and then here they have marked the deep cervical nodes, this is the deep cervical nodes and here it looks like we can assume that this is the peri-cervical, so you have the Waldeyer's and the external Waldeyer's, right, so all this will be the external Waldeyer's, okay, so now we have understood the basics as to what Waldeyer's and external Waldeyer's is, so let us see some more information what we have. Waldeyer's internal and external rings. Another photo here. Let's see. So here, what and all they have shown here? Adenoid tonsil, tubal tonsil, palatine tonsil, lingual tonsil. This is the Waldeyer's ring. This is the internal ring. External ring, what and all you have? You have the submental, submandibular lymph nodes, deep cervical lymph nodes, jugulodigastric lymph node, and what is there here? Retropharyngeal lymph node. And that's it. Nice, right? So you understood completely now what internal and external rings are. What is this here? Internal ring, we can assume, right? We can see only one thing here and this is the adenoid, the lingual, the palatine, the tubal, an interrupted circle of tonsils at the upper end of the respiratory and elementary tract. So, here what and all will go? Air and food and all that will go here, right? And uh, this is uh, Waldeyer's ring is around that. So, aggregation of lymphoid tissue under the epithelial lining of the pharyngeal wall called tonsils, okay? What and all is there here? It's an interrupted circle of, ton of uh, lymphoid tissue. It consists of the pharyngeal tonsil or the nasopharyngeal tonsil or the adenoids. This is posterior superiorly. Laterally, you have the tubal and palatine. This is two sides you will have, left and right, and lingual is anteriorly. Very good. So, what does it do? It prevents the invasion of microorganisms. Focus here, guys. What is the function? Prevent the invasion of microorganisms and from entering the air and food passages. Okay. So, it is a defense mechanism of the respiratory and the elementary systems, food and uh, air both. Okay, so Waldeyer's ring shown again here. What else? Uh, Waldeyer's ring, another definition here, scattered through the pharynx in its sub-epithelial layer in, is the lymphoid tissue which is aggregated at places to form masses called as the Waldeyer's ring. So, scattered throughout the pharynx. Okay, the masses are the nasopharyngeal tonsil or the adenoids, the tubal tonsils, and the fossa of Rosenmuller. You have the tubal tonsils, the palatine tonsils, or simply tonsils, and the lingual tonsils. They're talking about the lateral pharyngeal bands and some nodules. Now, some extra information they added here. They're saying some more things are there here the lateral pharyngeal bands and the nodules. Let's look at an image that will help us understand those two extra things. See here, you have the nodules in the middle and some lateral pharyngeal bands on the left and right side, okay. So, each one of these, they have explained in detail, the adenoids, adenoid facies, if what happens if the adenoids increase in size, usually they're supposed to regress after 7 years of age, right, but um, if they don't regress, they can cause obstruction and all that. So, adenoids, uh, they have extracted, this is the adenoid, uh, adenoidectomy, okay, removal of the adenoids. Then tubal tonsils, they have explained a little. Then uh, the tonsil, simply if they say tonsil, it refers to the palatine tonsils. It's also called as the fossil tonsils, okay. This only you will explain a lot of things, right. They will ask you uh, tonsillitis, uh, peritonsillar abscess, quincy and all they ask. And this is tonsillar cyst, membrane over tonsils, 
all that will come under that okay you will have to explain all that lingual tonsils also some things are there that you can explain keratosis pharyngeus is actually a condition of the lingual tonsil that you can remember okay so basically the functions of oropharynx you can explain here it is going to uh, we already told you local defense immunity against all these harmful intruders is a good thing right all this tonsils is a good thing it's protecting yes and then what else it is strategically placed right it is strategically placed so it can catch all this then what else b lymphocytes will be there t lymphocytes will be there okay then lymphomas you see what happens in hodgkin lymphoma and not non non hodgkin lymphoma there will be cervical lymph adenopathy the lymphatic structures of waldeyering may also be involved so you this is that's why the importance the importance of this waldeyering you'll have to write some importance in the exam right if they ask you write all this okay then um, uh, what what will happen if all these uh, uh, structures are involved there can be dysphagia serious otitis media that can person can have middle ear uh, problems the respiratory obstruction right so lymphomas you should write lymphoma is not a good thing right what you are doing is a good thing it's supposed to protect us okay so we are done with um, looking at waldeyer's ring what is waldeyer's ring guys it is a aggregated mass of lymphoid tissue right the tonsils that constitutes the waldeyer's lymphatic ring this is deep to the inner circle of the cervical lymph nodes whatever this drains into the waldeyer's lymphatic ring whatever it drains into that is the peri cervical chain and the deep cervical chain those constitute the external ring of waldeyer right we have looked at uh, the internal ring and the external ring so internal ring is having what and all the adenoids the tubal tonsils palatine tonsils and the lingual tonsils externally you have the peri cervical and the deep cervical lymph nodes uh, which comprises of the submental submandibular uh, lymph nodes retropharyngeal lymph nodes jugular digastric lymph nodes etc so again this is the waldeyer's ring interrupted circle of tonsils then you have um, uh, they have sh shown same thing they have written here again and again it is it prevents the invasion of microorganisms it will uh, protect the respiratory and the alimentary canals because it is preventing the invasion of microorganisms from entering the air and food passages very good so this diagram you will draw in the exam uh, this waldeyer's ring what and all it has it has these four lymphoid structure uh, tissues we told you and they also are mentioning some nodules here you can see some dots in the middle and the lateral pharyngeal band so if they ask you what constitutes uh, the lateral uh, waldeyer's ring you have to write all these six things the adenoid tonsils the tubal tonsils which is in the fossa of rosenmuller the palatine tonsils or simply tonsils the lingual tonsil and the lateral pharyngeal bands and the nodules which are in the posterior pharyngeal wall so we uh, looked at each of these uh, uh, lymphoid tissue right in little in detail we saw the adenoids and then we saw adenoid ectomy image then we saw tubal tonsil and then we saw the fossil or palatine tonsil or simply tonsils all these terms are same if somebody says simply tonsils they are referring to the palatine tonsils so some conditions related to this you may have to explain in the exam tonsillitis peritonsillar abscess quincy you can explain tonsillolith tonsillar cyst membrane over tonsils etc then lingual tonsil uh, one of the conditions associated with it is is the keratosis pharyngeus okay so we saw the functions of oropharynx it is supposed to provide as local defense and immunity it is strat strategically placed so that it can catch the invaders uh, sometimes we can have lymphomas hodgkin lymphoma and not hodgkin lymphoma uh, and they can present with uh, this cervical lymphadenopathy the structures of the waldeyer ring may be involved and what can be the symptoms the person can have dysphagia or serious otitis media respiratory obstruction mainly you have to write these and other lymph nodes can get affected also so in this video we have looked at the waldeyer's ring what it comprises of importance of it and uh, what happens if it's swollen in lymphomas what can happen the symptoms we looked at also what the patient will present it present with in case there's issue with the waldeyer ring that's all for now in this video bye bye